Dear students, today we will see the new topic instrumentational amplifier. It is a device. Instrumentational amplifier is a device that amplifies the difference between the voltage at a two terminals. Hence, it is known as differential voltage gain amplifier. This is the best definition that you can learn for instrumentational amplifier. What do you mean by that? So, it amplifies the difference between the two terminals. Between the two input terminals, that is a instrumentational amplifier is basically work with the principle of differential amplifier. What is a differential amplifier or a subtractor? What we learned is it amplifies the difference of the two signal. Signal will amplify the difference of the two signal. The difference of the two signal will be amplified. To, to understand the instrumentation amplifier, it is very important to have the knowledge of is a subtractor or differential amplifier. With that principle only, it was derived actually. So, what is the main, what is the important difference between the instrumentation and the other amplifier here is, see this amplifier is used for more accurate for what for low signal amplification if you want to measure like a very sensitive parameter like i want to measure the uh, like a human heart pulse like a humidity humidity like a temperature or a vibration those signals are very very small right so the transducer or sensor will send the signal and the received signal will be sent to the instrumentational amplifier. This instrumentation amplifier will be able to amplify the very 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 small signal. Okay, then it will be passed to the filter, then it will be went to the display unit. There only you will be seeing your user and output right here one example i have given you for your understanding that is it is given for some biomedical application that is to measure electrocardiogram that is a ecg signal so here we want to measure like a we want to pick up the low level output signal which is generated from the heartbeat right it was sensed by the sensor, then it will be passed to the instrumentation amplifier. The low signal, it should be amplified very precisely, right? That work was done by this instrumentation amplifier. This is like a, it is specially created for low signal amplification. So, industries are like a more, more preferring to like a, to measure the like to amplify the low signal like a, during the measurement like a, when you measure the temperature humidity or light intensity or water flow using a sensor or transducer that signal will be passed to the instrumentation amplifier so instrumental amplifier here play the vital role to amplify your low signal that will be passed to the indicator system or display unit Basically, you know the transducer is nothing but your uh, it's a device. It will convert your uh, like one energy to the one form to another form. It convert the energy from one form to another form. So we are not going in the just uh, say what is the meaning of transducer. Now, when you see the what is the important future, like uh, it should have a high gain accuracy, like a uh, uh, high CMRR. So instrumentation amplifier will provide this following best features like it will give high gain accuracy, high CMRR, high gain stability, low DC offset and low output impedance. Okay, this low output impedance is very important to avoid the loading effect in the next stage of your op amp. So these are the best feature available in the instrumentation amplifier. Now we will come to the very important part. That is your circuit part. So here you can can see you have a two stage. One is a buffer stage, another is a differential amplifier stage. 
let me start with a very basic concept like a, here we have a three app a1 and a2 a3 this app am are working in ideal condition that means current across the terminals will be zero current across the terminals will be zero in all three then the resistance is infinite what do you mean by infinite so when you draw the app arm so here you have a resistance right this is the input one input second term here basically when you say r is infinity it is nothing but a open circuit it will become open circuit right when r is less it will become short circuit that is the basic uh, mathematical learn from the previous classes right so same you want to understand here and another thing when i am giving a v2 in the positive terminal same will be here in your minus terminal also because this is concept comes from physical ground and virtual ground here also when i am giving v1 here here also same voltage so then only the potential difference will be zero okay here i am giving input in the positive terminal here i am giving input in the positive terminal the current across this terminals are zero because the resistance of this op amp is huge right another important thing this r what do you mean what is the function of this r and the r is another name for this r is it is a gain adjusting resistor i can say it's a gain setting resistor by adjusting this value i can adjust the the current across the r dash and v2 dash drop similarly in v1 dash also we know that v2 dash is nothing but a input which is sent for a3 negative terminal and v1 dash is the input which is sent for the positive terminal of the op amp 3 from a3 only you are getting the output right okay so this is another uh, important thing which you want to know here is a1 and a2 it is acting as a buffer that is voltage follower voltage follower voltage follower means buffer what do you mean by that the output is directly fed to the input the input is directly fed to the output that means output and input both are same that's all the output and input both are same okay that's why it is said to be the voltage follower okay the v2 dash is the input which is sent for inverting terminal and v1 dash is the input which is sent for the non inverting terminal and this is a feedback resistor at this given as r2 r of this here mean r2 here so here you can have uh, one drop here because you have a resistance your input is v1 dash that means what is a vx v1 dash that is a source of this uh, drop or this node is draw node i just kept the x that is v1 dash what is the corresponding resistance r2 divided by r1 plus r2 corresponding resistance divided by sum of your total resistance that gives this vx node voltage point okay so that will be very useful uh, okay so we will go for the next part here here i have we are going to see the working part in the two way okay first we will take like a when v1 is equal to v2 when you consider v1 is equal to v2 that means v2 minus v1 will be zero v2 minus v1 will be zero that means current will come like this only will go like this current across this r dash and r will be zero in this condition it is acting as a voltage followers now when you consider when v1 is greater than v2 or v2 is greater than v1 
the current will be move across from v1 dash to v1 and v1 to v2 and v2 to v2 dash current is moving like this okay the current will flow through this r and r dash here very important to learn so let me like uh, this is a uh, arrangement of series resistance right so this is r okay so if you put for r this is a v1 right this v1 this is your v2 if i want to measure the what is the current across this how will measure i is nothing but you see its current is going like this right it is going like this na so you take this uh, v1 dash and this your v2 dash okay that how will calculate v1 minus v2 by r so in this resistance i will measure this point is your v2 and this point is your v2 dash so that means current is moving like a v1 dash to v1 here this point is a v1 dash and here if you write i equal to v1 dash minus v1 by uh, similarly for here also okay if you confused you can write like this also this is a current i so this is v1 and this is a v2 so r so your current is going like this so v1 minus v2 by r that is your current hope it was clear now we'll go to the very important part here you have a two voltage source right here you have a two voltage source so so for do our analysis i will take one source as active another source as inactive similarly i will take a uh, in the next phase first i will be considering for this minus that means plus i am taking as a inactive so when you when i am giving the input in the minus we used to say that is a inverting amplifier what is a equation for inverting amplifier v not equal to vi r of minus r of r by r1 here r of i have taken as r2 i said clearly in the previous slide right this is r of actually so this is when your uh, v2 dash is inactive when v1 dash is active it is is a non inverting amplifier so how we will get vi 1 plus r of by r1 what is a vi what is a vi here vi is a drop across this vx point what you measure that is vi dash into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 that's all so plug in here so what will get v not that is a uh, v not equal to v a dash r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into 1 plus what is r of you have taken r2 so that's all. now you add this equation the superposition theorem principle so what is the equation you will be getting this part so this is for inverting this is for non inverting that's all very simple this is for non inverting this is for inverting this drop is the across this node point vx point okay now i am taking r2 by r1 outside what you'll get v dash 2 minus v dash 1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 this will become change r1 by r2 plus 1 because i am taking r2 by r1 outside so this will become r1 by r2 plus this will become 1 now you take a lcm what you'll get here R one plus R two by R two. That means this R two R two will get cancelled. Then this one and this one will get cancelled. So what is your answer now? R two by R one equal to V dash two minus V dash one. So when you write in terms of minus, when I'm changing the minus, so rearrange. After that, what you'll get R two by R one equal to V dash one. I'm rearranging the equation. V dash one minus V dash two. That's all. Very simple. This is the equation for the by considering this V two dash as the input for the negative terminal and V one dash as the input for your positive terminal. 
right now i say i said clearly the current is going like this current is going like this so first when you write for this r how will write current is going from v1 to v2 that means v1 minus v2 by r you will be getting this equation now i want to find for this uh, v1 dash so current is going like this so how you will write i equal to v1 dash minus v1 by r dash now you cross multiply i r dash equal to v1 dash minus v1 v1 dash equal to v1 plus i r dash see same equation i got similarly you can write for this v2 dash now in place of i what you know what is i is nothing but a v1 minus v2 by r substitute i here so in place of i i substituted this equation and it was derived like this right this whole thing is i now v1 dash it was derived like this and v2 dash it was derived like this right now very simple we came to the end of the derivation v not equal to r2 by r1 v1 dash minus v2 dash you just plug in this derived one will get your answer see for v1 dash what we derived is r dash by r v1 minus v2 plus v1 this is for v1 dash what you derived for v2 dash minus r dash by r v1 minus v2 plus v2 this is for v2 dash right now you take r2 by r1 outside okay now uh, like uh, if you separate and write okay if you separate and write what happen this you will be having 2 r dash by r 2 r dash by r then uh, you can uh, write this after uh, see you can i'll write so r dash by r v1 minus v2 r dash by r plus v1 plus r dash by r v1 minus r dash by r v2 minus v2 okay after uh, simplification this equation so you will be get r2 by r1 equal to 1 plus 2 r dash by r v1 minus v2 okay so and finally this is your formula for your instrument definition and the fair r2 by r1 into 1 plus 2 r dash by r v1 minus v2 this r dash is this part this r is this one r is your gain setting resistor then if you want to calculate gain so gain you know that is your uh, output by input what is output v not what is the input v1 minus v2 so if you rearrange this equation what is the product of r2 by r1 into 1 plus 2 r dash by r so this is a equation to adjust your gain mean final derived equation for instrumentation amplifier so this is a theoretical and this is a mathematical equation for the instrumentation amplifier i hope it was clear thank you